Hi, welcome. Uh, in today's tutorial, uh, we're actually going to go over the January 2009 Regents exam. Uh, this is the same test I gave for my class um, actually two days ago on Friday as a final. So I want to put this video out there for you guys to study off before you take the final this coming Friday. Okay. Uh, hopefully I'll get through all the questions in time. So on the first question here, uh, I mean there's some reading here. I think most of the problems are word problems. But you know, anytime, anytime I'm going too fast, pause the video, read the question, and then you know, continue afterwards. So in this question, it's talking about um, switching from Celsius or converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You know, um, what is 15 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? And it's a substitution question. I'm going to plug in 15 degrees for C. So we have F equals. 9 over 5. I want to plug in 15 here. Plus 32. Okay. Uh, 15 is the same as 15 over 1. So when we multiply this out, uh, 9 times 15, uh, that is uh, 95, 135, right? And 5 times 1 is 5 plus uh, 32 and then let me scroll a little down here okay I haven't worked these problems at a time so I actually don't know the answers okay so 135 divided by 5 I think that's 27 but let me make sure okay and that is 2 right so 35 27 okay I'm correct so this is 27 plus 32 so the answer is um, 59 degrees. All right, this is in Fahrenheit, and that is choice three. Okay, choice three over here. Cool. So this is actually the very the the, the um, this is actually the exact formula to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. So it's not a made-up formula. You can use this uh, when you travel around to the other side of the world. Okay, going down to question number two. Uh, what is the speed in meters per second of a paper airplane that flies 24 meters in that six seconds? Well, this is a um, this is a ratio or proportional question. So you want to set it up um, with let's say I can just make it up uh, meters, all right, over seconds. So I'm gonna just use uh, this proportion here. So we have uh, 24 meters in six seconds. Well, how much would it travel in in uh, meters per second? Meters per second. So it'll be one second, and it'll be x on the top. Okay. This is 24 meters over six seconds. You know how many meters would it be in one second? So you're gonna cross multiply this. 24 times one which is you know, 24, 6 times x is 6x, right? So 24 equals 6x divided by 6 on both sides, and you will get x equals, right, x equals 4. And that will be choice 4, okay? I mean, there's different ways of doing it, uh, but, uh, you know, answer is going to be 4. Okay, question three. Okay, um, the faces of a cube are numbered from one to six. If the cube is rolled once, uh, what outcome is least likely to happen? Okay, least likely to happen. I want to underline that to show you that. Okay, um, the best way you have to do is find the probability for everything. Okay, and uh, if you guys remember, probability of an event is equal to uh, number of desire outcomes outcomes over number of uh, possible outcomes okay so uh, number one rolling an odd number we're talking about a cube here the chance of rolling an odd number is uh, rolling at one three or five so that's three Alright, three desired outcomes because either one, three,
3 or 5 out of how many possible outcomes where there's 6 numbers. So 3 out of 6. Okay, that's the first one. Uh, number 2. Uh, we're only even number. Well, even numbers are 2, 4, and 6. So that's 3 numbers out of 6 numbers total. Uh, number 3. Uh, we're only a number less than 6. Well, those numbers are, what numbers are less than 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so that's five numbers out of uh, six numbers total on a cube or a die. And number four, rolling a number greater than four. Which numbers are greater than four? It's five and six. That's only two numbers. So it would be two numbers out of six. And which one's least likely to happen? Well, that's a number that is the smallest out of all these fractions. So it's two out of six. Okay, and that is choice four. Okay, moving on. Right, anytime, just pause if, if I'm going too fast. Okay, uh, let me change color here. Let me try blue. Okay, all right, this question. Um, you know, I'm gonna pause here to read the question and click play after you're done. Okay. Okay, so hopefully you finished reading now. Um, so this question, uh, a key word here is budget. I think I had some student asking me what budgets mean, right? Uh, budgets mean that's the money she had to spend for that month. Uh, she doesn't want to go over that amount, $29.50. Okay, that's her limitation. So to create a formula, um, uh, you have to find out, well, uh, what is fixed here? The fixed amount is uh, $19. She has to pay $19 regardless. If she used zero minutes on her cell phone, she still has to pay $19. Right, so 19 is fixed. I'll just put 19 here. Okay, and how much do you normally get charged? Well, it's seven cents per minute, right? So it would be, be 0 0.07 times uh, uh, the minutes she used. So I'll put M for minute. Okay? And this is going to be plus $19 because that's fixed that she has to pay. Okay, because even if she used zero minutes, I mean M is zero, right? Zero time point oh seven is gonna be zero. She still needs to pay nineteen dollars, and this amount here on the left side needs to be less than or equal to twenty nine fifty. All right, it can't be greater than, right? Because you know she doesn't have enough money to pay pay uh, more than twenty nine fifty. So her minutes per month need to be less than. And uh, twenty nine dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to solve for m here. Subtract nineteen from both sides. Okay. You have ten dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Then you're gonna divide by point oh seven, and that will give you. M. Okay, and 1050 divided by 0 0.07, that's actually going to be, um, I think, 150 minutes, if my math is correct. Uh, let me just confirm with a calculator. Okay, yes, that's correct. So it's 150. All right, it's 1050 divided by 0 0.07, and that's minutes. Uh, so. Uh, the minutes per month that she must, you know, the maximum amount of minutes she can use for her cell phone plan is 150. Okay, if she uses 150, she's gonna uh, pay 29.50 per month. If she uses less, it would be less than that. But the maximum she can use is 150 here, and that's my answer. Choice one. Okay.